This is how much I earned in royalties from self-publishing journals, logbooks, coloring books, and so on for the year of 2023. Hey, it's Ben. I hope you're all doing well. On this channel, I've been sharing my monthly income reports from Amazon KDP for the last two and a half years, but I thought it would be helpful for some to see what these royalties look like over a whole year. I've managed to achieve these figures while working a full-time job and my self-publishing side hustle now pays me more than my main job does. In this video, I will be revealing how much I earn from my full-time job as well. Before I go into it, I must make it clear that this is by no means me bragging. I do not need any congratulations or validation from you. I'm just being transparent with what is possible if you have a full-time job and self-publish on the side. Talking openly about money rubs some people up the wrong way, which is fair enough. But there will be others that watch this video and will be motivated by it to start self-publishing or even to stop them from quitting if they're not having much luck yet. I will also be adding my March income report at the end of the video too. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, so if you didn't know, I've been at my current full-time job for 10 years now. I work on the railway tracks installing overhead line equipment. This equipment needs to be installed so that the overhead electrical wires can stretch for long distances and allow trains to be powered throughout. I work in machines that have baskets attached, which lift us up into the air to get to the overhead equipment. Now, this job is worlds apart from making pretty looking books via a computer. When I'm at my full-time job, I'm tightening nuts and bolts, hammering stuff, which is anything but pretty, but I love it. I started self-publishing nearly five years ago in late 2019. The reason I started was because I wanted to earn some additional money as my first child was on the way and the rest is history. A lot of sacrifices have been made to get to this point, and I'm not the type of person that will tell you how easy it is to make money from self-publishing. A lot of effort and discipline is required. Now, I have had some comments in the past saying, well, if you earn more from self-publishing than your job, why wouldn't you quit? And to be fair, that is a valid question. So I will try to answer that. Leaving your job to focus on a side hustle is a huge decision. There are many reasons why I have been hesitant to leave. My railway job pays me very well for England. The average wage here is around £35,000 a year. Fortunately for me, I earn around £50,000 per year. Here I've added my latest payslip, so you can see that I'm contracted 41 hours per week, and my salary is near enough £50,000. So if I convert that into dollars, that works out to $63,171. Now, if you're an American watching this, please don't laugh at this amount. I know that you earn big money out there. Oh, and your houses are a lot bigger and cheaper than ours too. Although I've earned $79,000 from Amazon, I have to take out a large chunk for expenses such as Amazon advertising and KDP subscriptions. This is roughly about $16,000. I invest heavily into Amazon advertising, which helps me to get sales and maintains the positions of my books on Amazon, therefore increasing my overall sales. But if I count my expenses from a railway job as well, such as fuel to get to work, union subscriptions, etc., Amazon still pays me more, but it is close. Giving up a regular paycheck is tough to do, especially if you have a mortgage to pay and a family to look after. That is why I haven't left yet. Maybe if I was earning £25,000 per year, I would probably have left by now. Another reason for not leaving my railway job is I really like the people that I work with and the job itself. I go to work to socialize with friends and to switch my business brain off. It's actually really nice to go to work and be told where to go and what to do. When you're in charge of your own business, you have to make hundreds of micro decisions every day and it is exhausting. However, the time has come for me to quit my railway job and I will do that towards the end of this year. I must leave in order to manage everything that I'm working on, such as KDP courses, YouTube, putting more content in my Facebook group, and self-publishing itself. As all of these things are growing, I'm finding it harder and harder to manage my time. So it has taken a lot of work to get to this level, but it is achievable even if you have a full-time job. If you work part-time, are retired or unemployed, the potential is there to earn more than this because obviously you have more time than I do. So again, please don't take this as me bragging. I really hope that it motivates some people to get started or to continue self-publishing. There is a lot of money to be made from this business, which is why I want other people to take a tiny slice of the gigantic pie. Now I will share my income report for March. 
I have some news that I'm pretty excited about. I have hired a full-time illustrator to help me with my coloring books and activity books. She is super talented and has already created one coloring book for me. Technically, I published this coloring book in April, so I won't include that in this March's income report. For March, I did not publish any new books. I earned $4,209 in royalties, which is lower than the previous month. But as you can see by my 2023 earnings, my royalties fall in March and will stay around this level until November, December. So this was to be expected. With the help of my illustrator, my plan for this year is to create more seasonal books, which should help to increase my royalties through spring and summer. My top 10 best-selling books brought me in royalties of $1,948, which is about 46% of my total royalties. These books were a mixture of guest books, log books, activity books, and journals. Hardcover versions of my books brought me $473 in royalties, which is always a welcome bonus. If suitable, creating hardcover versions of your books is a great way to leverage your effort. You've already gone through the hard work designing your paperback cover, creating your interior. You've already invested time finding keywords and writing a description. So modifying your paperback into a hardcover version is far less work than creating a new paperback from scratch. All right, let's take a look at my KDP expenses. I'm gonna quickly explain what I use each one for as I haven't done this in a while. I use BookBolt for my cover designs and to design some activity book interiors. I've put zero dollars there because I bought a lifetime membership when I first started publishing. Opting for their lifetime membership back then has been a tremendous investment for me. I use Adobe Illustrator for my A plus content if I'm not outsourcing it. I also use Adobe to modify certain elements and graphics for my cover design. However, now that I have an Illustrator, I'm considering getting rid of it as I won't be using it that much. I use Creative Fabrica to get my fonts, elements, and some mockups. Of course, I invest heavily in Amazon advertising. And although this might seem like a lot, these are profits that I've reinvested back into the business and have built up to this level over a long period of time. If you are a busy person like myself, using Amazon ads can help to maintain the positions of your books and also improve organic sales too. Ads also give your books the best chance of long-term success rather than not advertising your books and them getting lost amongst the competition. KDP Champ is a must if you like to analyze data. Some benefits of KDP Champ are, they notify you when you get a sale and even when a review gets left on your books. You can also see how many organic and inorganic sales you've got, as well as tons of other information. I use ChatGPT for a number of things, but for KDP, it is helpful for writing persuasive book descriptions and finding keywords. I haven't put anything for outsourcing as I haven't paid my illustrator just yet, but you will see how much I pay her in April's income report. So subscribe if you're interested in that. I have started a two month free trial with Bookbeam. I'm a bit late to the party with Bookbeam, but I'm loving what I'm seeing so far. Of course, I will test it thoroughly before I let you know if it is worth the money or not. With all of these things considered, my expenses come to $1,379. If I take that away from my royalties, I am left with $2,830. As I mentioned, I was expecting a drop in royalties this March. It happens every year, but I am extremely happy with this amount. I haven't done much work to earn this money. For most of March, I've been working on creating my step-by-step self-publishing course. I did not publish any new books. All I did was tweak my Amazon advertising to keep my books selling and keep the royalties rolling in. For April, I plan to reduce my ad spend quite a lot as it has been on the higher side recently. And that is it. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to see future videos. See you next time. Take care.